Just how qualified will the person who handles the funeral of your loved one be? And can you trust them? That's a major concern being raised by the funeral industry in North Carolina. A new bill aims to lower the standard of qualifications. Tonight's local original, an explanation as to why that is concerning. I just um, really feel like the licensees of this state deserve better than to create a, yet another type of license that this unwarranted, this unnecessary, and could create a lot of liability in our industry. It all started with a simple change from the word and to or. But just within the last week, a North Carolina House bill has morphed into something far more concerning for the funeral industry. It creates a provisional license to operate a funeral home and work with clients. It does not require the education, the training, and examinations that are currently necessary for a standard license. Mark Blake is the vice president of the North Carolina Board of Funeral Service and is a licensed funeral director. We don't know where this ends, not just in our industry, but let's take other industries that have certain standards and educational standards, such as physicians, uh, lawyers, electricians. Why do we need to lower our standards when we're just trying to seek the most professionally educated person? One of the explanations for the change is to make it easier for people licensed in another state to get a license in North Carolina. Blake says the current rules are effective and have a much higher standard. He says funeral directors across the state are concerned because it would also lower the requirement to manage a funeral home, execute contracts, and take in money. That includes payments families make for funerals years down the road. We have seen where there have been people that have taken advantage of the public, and we're here on behalf of the state to protect the public. We're here to uh, safeguard their trust that they place in funeral homes and funeral directors.